Hello everybody, welcome to essentially the final of the World Cup Qualifier NAF style tournament here. Um, I can bring up the table, you can see there Andy Davo won this qualifier with 16 points, I was second with 15, so I would have qualified, um, except I'd already qualified from Super League. So the third place qualifier will qualify, um, at the moment that is misspelled tree. However, Seabros and Niaga are both on 11 points. So if either of them win this match, they will qualify for the World Cup. If it is a draw, then misspelled tree will qualify. Um, so we've got, ooh, let's see what the colors look like. Um, okay, I prefer red and blue. So red, we've got Niaga here, blue for Seabros. They both got, you know, very similar team builds because it's Dark Elves. They've both got three dodge blitzers and a fourth unskilled blitzer. They've both got a wrestle witch and a block witch. Um, Niaga has a reserve, Seabros has an apothecary, and Niaga has a leader runner, while Seabros has a dodge assassin. <laughs> I mean, I've already, I've already done my part. I already, I already. Uh, I already dashed people's hopes and dreams for no reason. Because <laughs> I'd already qualified. I just entered for fun. So there you go. Had I been competitive, I would have probably taken Necromantic, to be honest. Um, like not not that I you know, not that I thought lizards were uncompetitive. But um, I you know, I do think Necro are a little bit better and a little bit better against elves. Whereas obviously lizards aren't so good against elves and elves are really good you know loads of people took elves yeah maybe i should have done invictus maybe i should have done that yeah, yeah we'll see we'll see i might start playing a little bit more but yeah and that that was another reason to take necromantic in the super league right because i feel like for the world cup necro might have the best package um we'll see they might not they, they are the the good thing about necro is they're pretty good against like the elf teams, aren't they? That's what that's what everybody tells me. Everybody tells me they're good against the, the elf teams and the Skaven. And, and you know, in this we had we had in the top ten we had four dark elves, three wood elves, no three three lizard men, four dark elves, three lizard men, two wood elves, and one necro. So if sixty percent of the top ten are elves. That's not good for lizard men, right? Like it, it's not. Elves aren't that bad a matchup for lizard men, but also it's just so easy to get diced in them. Um, the stats-wise, it's it's a horrific matchup, but the stats aren't between good players versus good players, right? The stats are average players versus average players, and average players are a lot worse than good players. So I feel like the the stats don't really mean a whole lot to winning tournaments and stuff. So there you go. I would take eight guard. <laughs> try, try. I would take eight guard, yes. Um, and yeah, so the the Blood Bowl three ladder sick, it is, yeah, it's finish one or top four in the in the playoffs. Now if you, the thing about finishing first is of course some people have already qualified. So you might not actually have to finish first. Um, but you certainly have to finish pretty high up. Like there's one qualifier. There's one qualifier from the um, from the ladder and four from the playoffs. There you go. There's how to qualify. So this is a nice little blitz from Sea Rose, isn't it? Uh, oh no, it's not. <laughs> Disregard. <laughs> <laughs> it was it would have been it would have been nicer to have pushed this one I think. But okay. If he'd powed he would have pushed this one and then got that one. So he could have got two, but instead he got the follow-up hit. This isn't great as having this guy in here. Probably want to put the assassin on him, right? I guess this is, really, this is where the assassin really shines, right? The assassin can go here. Okay, he's not doing it. The assassin can go here. And then another player up there. 
then this guy would be totally trapped. Like, I don't like that he's got the 2 plus off, right? Whereas if you put the assassin and another player here, then he can't hit anybody, and then he's got to dodge him, because otherwise he's going to get hit by the assassin, so... Like, this is good in that this guy now... The assassin's doing a good job that this guy can't really stand up. Um, he could stand up and 3 plus 2 plus out, but he can't just stand up. But he probably wouldn't have wanted to stand up anyway. Whereas this guy can 2 plus out. This is the bad thing about the runner, right? Because, you know, although he's got dump off and PA 3 plus, you never want to actually carry it on him. Because you've got Blodge Blitzers that want to carry for the most part. Oh, hello, <laughs> cool. Right, wait a second. I'll, uh. Yep, I haven't, also, I haven't got you coming out of the right speaker, so, um, people won't be able to hear you. <laughs> Okay, right now, 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 now you are hearable, and <laughs> now, I, now I'm streaming. So glorious. And good evening, little blood bowlers. <laughs> Straight into some uh... hot elf on elf action. It's more action than normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't joking. I meant it. Yeah, this is, this is good, isn't it? And they've both got to win as well. That's very exciting, isn't it? Uh, well, it's normally six turns of nobody doing anything. <laughs> or five. <laughs> Just blitzing somewhere, ending turn, blitzing somewhere, ending turns. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what you want to do, isn't it, really, with pretty much every team? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would say. I mean, I uh, guess dwar uh, dwarves have got to get a move on, haven't they? And, like... Orcs, have, orcs and dwarves have both got to bash forward a bit, but most teams just don't do a lot for, for six turns. <laughs> I would say. Well, Machina, um, everybody is little compared to Big Kev. <laughs> <laughs> not actually true, not actually true, but you know, very, 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 uh, very tall. Very imposing figure, and then the loveliest person you've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, some will say there might be a bit of uh, discontent neck between those two things, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, so it's quite deep. I, I like I, this is the this is the kind of defense I like for most against most teams with most teams against most teams. Just like kind of quite narrow, quite deep. Make sure they just can't get through the center, and then they're going to yeah. have to go to the side at some point. And as long as you're that deep, you don't really need to be all the way to the sideline because there's not enough space anyway. Yeah. And let also be fair, there's no elf that's going down the sideline this early against another dark elf team yes. because they'll be squeezed. Yeah, r big squeeze and elf on uh, which elf on both sides as well. So yeah. Yeah, really all they can do is try and pick each other off with blitzes, isn't it? And force a bit of... if they can force some extra blocks if they're lucky. Yeah. Or extra touches the other way for that matter. Yeah, like, I, I've really got no cons with, like, leaving players down for extended periods of time. It's, <laughs> no, it's especially the elves. Like, they're almost better sometimes when they can... That's a Fred on the ground. Yeah. Oh my Ooh. goodness. And that like, was that a three plus touch? For no. It was a two plus. And oh, it was two plus. And he rolled a one <laughs> and died. <laughs> yeah. But it's one of the cases you could like you talked about. You could think about just to left him because he's doing a fine job taking space even on the ground. Yeah. Yep. Yes, that was a perfect a perfect example of why it's, it can be fine to leave them on the ground there. Yeah, you know, like... And people people do it with, like, orcs. You'll see people, like, you know, pick up an orc and dodge it because they think, oh, well, he's armor 9, he can't die. But he definitely can. <laughs> and and while, you know, like, Skaven and, and elves are a lot more a lot more susceptible to dying if they fail, but obviously more likely to make the dodge. Um, yeah, but there's there's that list on that webpage. Can you see who's already qualified? Somewhere on that 
I put up at the start, um, I, I can tell you, I can tell you the, the situation. Um, so, Andy is top of the league with 16 points. I am second with 15 points. Uh, but you already... But I've already qualified, yes. Yeah. So... Yeah, it was more, who's, who's, can you see, who's already have tickets for it somewhere? Oh, who's, oh, for that one? No, no, no. Um, uh. No, unfortunately that is not public. Um... There, there is no public list. Uh, Vituk has like people have to send to like the admins have to send two qualifies to Vituk, and then he has them all. I'll, I'll ask I'll ask him to like make a public list of it. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, that seems fair. Like yeah. otherwise, it's like a memory game. Yeah, it seems no, a bit it's silly. Thing. Yeah, everyone knows I've qualified because I kept saying it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> how, mu how much do I want to try to win the ladder? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, this is brilliant. Which would probably have lost less games though, but I hope. Yeah. When you when you like to play elves, it's hard to avoid those games where you just get smashed. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've just asked him now because that that is pretty good. He's he's because uh, he's he likes you know like there's a there's a little group of like you know people who were running their own qualifiers, and in mm. that he, he just said like thirty three people have sent him his details, but there's, <laughs> but there's more that haven't sent their details. Uh, yeah, he said I now have thirty three to sixty four coaches qualified in my document, but I have a feeling some of you have not sent me the information yet. So that's the thing. So he's got a document, but like, yeah, that that probably should be, yeah, public. Sorry, I thought you were talking about like you know this this tournament. So no, it, I've, uh, I've I've heard this set up for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in, it's interesting, right? Because this could be a draw, even though they both have to win. It still could just be a draw, right? They could just not get their offenses done. Yeah, but fail dice rolls. That's bit, like in most blood Bowl games, it is the most likely outcome to start with. Yeah. yeah, but at least like they won't settle for a draw. They definitely won't settle for a draw. That that's one thing's for sure, right? Like if, if there's any chance, you know, if if you win if you win one percent and lose ninety nine percent, or you could just draw hundred percent, you have yeah. to go for the one percent win in the in this situation. Hundred. So he's he's moved over a little bit, but yeah, because he's because he's deep, he just couldn't get around the corner and that and. Is he gonna try to go wide? Can do a three-two here. Can I have something downfield? And th these these can't, right? This would be three-three-two. So getting mm. this guy out probably isn't worth it. So I'd probably just leave. No, him leave him a turn. It's also oh, oh you can. Uh, that's three plus three plus. Yeah. I don't like that. No, I, I left him a turn, but he's fine. Yeah, this one doesn't that die. <laughs> Yeah, the le the red lineman in the back is it's not annoying now, but you do need to think about it. Yeah. I do personally with Dark Elf, if if I feel like I have enough players, I do like to sneak one or two players down, even if they're just laying down. Yeah. Yeah. Just for like preparing the turn where he actually needs them. Yes. Yeah. People have to factor them into the uh, into the equation, don't they? Even lying down. I guess the oh, okay, so he's not going with it. I thought that was going to be a witch elf, like trying to pin it the sideline. Mm. Oh, brutal! Two players down. <laughs> See, Ross with the emote game. Look at that. Does the <laughs> <laughs> Does the push-ups? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that's um, yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, expensive picture. This is uh, this is looking pretty tricky now for Niagara. He has made no penetration, and he's down two players. Besides uh, the lonely. Uh, the lonely sneaky lineman. Yeah. Yeah, 
this is tricky, very tricky. Problem is, if you don't get it when you get the chance, Christopher V goes into rotation, right? So nobody, nobody can buy the the hair right now. So yeah, big. Oh wow, does the one D blitz? Four re rolls. Gets the full pow. This is going to be a few rolls to get everybody through now, right? Because he's got to, he's got to clear this. He's got like double GFI with the ball, double GFI with the witch elf and stuff. This is going to be a hell of a lot of GFIs. I think. Like three. Be like four, four or five GFIs. Maybe even six. But at least you can do these turns. Like you couldn't even try these turns, could you? In uh, in Blood Bowl 2016 or CRP, like Blood Bowl Two, you couldn't mm. even try a turn like this. Well, I mean, you could, but <laughs> you'd probably be pretty stupid. <laughs> Whereas now, uh, now it's like it's totally fine to try these kind of turns with like six six GFIs, because you know you can just keep re-rolling them. Has changed. Has has made like uh, kind of. Passive defense is a lot worse, hasn't it? It's yeah, and like the that's like in generally I kind of like the multiple rerolls, but it just feels like when you spend a whole half defending and then you spend five rerolls going anyway. Yeah, it's a bit of um, feel a bit like a letdown sometimes. Yeah. Ooh, the witch elf there. Um, I almost kind of wish like that you in the first turn could use eight rerolls, and then in the second you can use seven and uh, like opposite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like symbolizing the players getting more tired. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Right. Six and two threes, isn't it? Like it, it does do something, which is. Uh... But yeah. It's... So now the, now the quest is yeah, if he squeezes in now is, or it's not, it's not particularly well rolling either. No, no. Um, because the thing is, that you almost like you can squeeze him in and just make sure he definitely doesn't get to stall. If yeah. he fails, it's a bonus. Yeah, yeah. You could surf this witch, but it's you really want to stop stopping the stall. Like getting lots of pressure in is what you want, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, you either want to stop the stall or at least as me, yeah, stop the stall. So he has to roll dice and hopefully failed. My if nothing else, scoring and giving you t three turns to score back. Yeah. Two players up. Getting the surf is still all right. You still like, if you yeah. can get, if you can get the players in the front. If you can get the players in the front. The surf is still okay, but yeah, it wouldn't be my first priority. I must admit. No, <laughs> no, I nor me. But I think it. I thought. I don't think it's as bad as it maybe appears. <laughs> <laughs> because the 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 what probably the biggest mistake that people would normally make would be like kind of like over over pushing yeah. here and then letting them switch back to the middle. So at least if yeah, you go for the surf, you stop the switch back to the middle 100%. Yeah, you he, you want him here yeah, going forward mm. into a tight pocket, if anything. Seabros might go for the ball here. He's he's He does like going for the ball a lot. Yeah, he's, um, he's uh, quite aggressive. Mm. <laughs> if this was Blood, if this was Blood Bowl two, you know he could have GFI GFI then stabbed, <laughs> but they have they have fixed that in Blood Bowl three, so that's nice. What a surprise! <laughs> yeah, I was shocked. Yeah, he's gone in. I thought he might be. Oh, and he fails the dodge. Mm, yeah, I don't like that. I think that's that leaves him the option to kind of clear a bit of space. I think yeah. it even gives him the option to go to the middle if he's a bit brave. Yes. I think I'd take that. 3 plus to hit that Witch Elf and just run to the middle. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You could even dodge out to get, make it 2 dice. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, because you're going to dodge this guy anyway. So why not just start with it, yeah. Get this guy in first. <laughs> Get this guy up move. Let this guy move up first. And then, uh, yeah, dodge him out. You could even blitz the witch there at that point, couldn't you? And uh, move him through. And then get everything through. Yeah, that's true, that's true. The fact that he has to, yeah, like going for the ball. He was going for the surf, wasn't he, with this with this player here. It was, it was going to be one into one into the surf. Um, yeah, it, 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 it is like, yeah, to be fair, the fact that they ha he has to play for the win might have might have factored in and in general yeah but i think i think it's but i think this being dark elf being two players up just making enough pressure so he has to score or at least make the next turn even worse stalling yes yeah. i think that's more than fine with elves yeah oh, i mean i agree i agree i agree 100 <laughs> percent. but that, that's the thing it's some people people just play differently don't they at the end of the day like yeah. you know, olivier to lack and he is uh he's shown before he uh he, he does like um Taking a bit of risk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like this is a pushing through. Wow, okay. Would not have done this. I would have honestly rather rather done the dodge and surf him. Like if I was gonna go down that sat go down that way, I would have done the dodge and surfed him. But I mean I wouldn't have gone that way. But if I was gonna go that way, <laughs> I would have done the four plus dodge surf. Oh, but then he could have, you could dodge in and he could have shadowed you so you couldn't surf him anymore. That would have been the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Imagine doing a four plus dodge to surf him, then he just shadows you and you can't surf him anymore. <laughs> but at least you'd be two into twoing him and, uh, and he'd be behind your ball. But this wrestle makes it a three. 3 2 or whatever through. He re rolls the 1D. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've come back to this. I better like my 3 plus just needing a push and then run everyone into a cage in the middle. Yeah. That seems a lot better. I know it's a 3 plus, and if it fails, you've screwed. You could even have done that dodge to make it a two dice, and you yeah. still have enough players to cage in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I like. I, I, I don't get thing. that. This mm. is bad. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, he's just gonna score in here. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's not enough. That's not good enough if you're playing for the win. No. no. I think that was too easy. <laughs> See, Ross celebrating there <laughs> with the emotes. <laughs> To now, yeah, now Seabro's got I'm, three turns and two re-rolls. And he's up in players as well. Yep, and Nyag is out of re-rolls. So yeah, yeah, all the advantages to Seabro's here. Yeah, and again, and it was literally just a two plus into two die block, three plus block, and then yep. that was a gaping hole in the middle of the pitch. Yep. Which was left by Seabro's going for the ball. Yep. Hello, Dimmy. Yeah, Seabros has, has, has smashed Niagara to bits on the emote game, yeah. Absolute no mm. contest. <laughs> yeah, I might. some of us might have turned that shit off. <laughs> yeah, I turned it off originally, but it's, uh, it's, it's, good, it's good to watch. The, to watch people use them is good. But uh, if I'm playing, I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> I've, suddenly somebody was, it was... I was just getting gnawed. I was trying to play my fucking game and then stuff was popping up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Do you know what, Fluffy Burrito? I don't plan on playing one on the 40k Space Marine 2, but I might. <laughs> I haven't, I'm not, I've not been interested in it at all, but like maybe, I don't know. I'm not a big, I'm not a big video game player. I know that sounds stupid, but uh, you know. It's only playing the good, the good, bit, the good BB. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I do actually love Battle Brothers, yeah, that's true. But mostly... Well, I'll start it's, playing again, it's brilliant. It's so good, yeah. It's so good. But like most of my video gaming has been Blood Bowl 2 and Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> and like, I don't know, GTAs. I like, I like the GTA games. Um, 
and I liked I liked COD back in the day and Halo and stuff, but uh, I haven't really been like a super huge gamer compared to like you know some people. <laughs> Like, I guess to some people I am a huge gamer, but to mo I, I think, like, modern day gaming's a lot bigger, isn't it, than it used to be when we were kids. <laughs> don't know how old you are, but, um, you know, now, now it's a lot more commonplace to have a lot more gaming, I think, than and when I was a kid. It was, yeah, yeah, Hogwarts, yeah, like, I played Hogwarts, right, like, so, I, yeah, yeah, Pal World, so I like, play the odd thing, so, maybe I, maybe I am a gamer, I don't know, I don't know, but. I tend to like go completely obsess over a game <laughs> rather than like you know some people I, I've got a friend who's got like you know hundreds and hundreds of video games and he just you know buys them and plays them all the time and then like you know plays a game for a few hours and buys another game plays it for a few hours and stuff whereas I, I tend to be the person who like you know wants to try and you know get obsessed by a game and play it tons like I have done Power World and yeah. stuff and that. Things like BG. I'm not over BG3. I, I got to the I got to the uh, city and then stopped playing, and now they've got like honor mode and stuff, haven't they? So I might I might finish my playthrough. Like I went to be fair, I, I did everything in like Act One and Act Two. You know, like I I, I, I left no stone unturned in in looking through uh, in playing through Act One and Act Two, and then I got to the city and I was like, oh my god, this is this is just like a fuck this and then stop also got lost in the sewers I went in the sewers and I just got lost <laughs> that didn't that didn't help <laughs> getting lost in the sewers um, but I might I might finish up my I might finish up my original playthrough and then do an honor mode run because honor mode like there's some balancing things isn't it they make haste not completely broken and it makes uh, um yeah I've... did you play uh, BG3 yeah. Kfog? it's um it's a bit of a f it's a bit of a thing it's like i didn't play world of warcraft i didn't play well those gate or any of them because i cannot play those games without wanting to get to every inch of everything yeah which means i just just don't play because i know i'll just use so much time that's yeah. i don't have yeah yeah. So I just stay away from them. Like I can play like the Apple because the maps are like slightly sm like it's smaller and then it's like more closed environments. Yeah. So I can do that, but I cannot play any open like open worlds. It's just yeah. it's yeah. Oh wow! Did two two it's... pluses get the witch in the ball? Without dodge, of course. What? The dodge without dodge, but it gets there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm similar. Like, obviously, now it's a bit different, but um, yeah, I, I never that played is... Diablo. Well, no, sorry, that's too, I played Diablo two to death. I played Diablo two tons, and then that made me never play World of Warcraft because I thought, oh god, I, I will lose my life if I play World of Warcraft. Same with Minecraft, right? I never played Minecraft or World of Warcraft because I thought I will just lose my life if I play these games. And yeah, then... so that's quite similar. Yeah. And now I'm sound stupid by saying it was crazy scoring <laughs> <laughs> yep if I, this works I mean, on the other hand if, if yeah but I mean, still, like if you fail to pick up now and it's oh I it didn't but it's still two dice into two dice right if the ball comes free then it's still fine yeah it can actually be better because he's he's it's not oh, yet, which yeah, better and... yeah it's, it's actually just better isn't it because he gets if, if it ball, fails but if, no it's also of course game winning if it works I guess yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, this could actually be good for for C bros here, because he's abandoned the defense, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. But of course, if if the witch elf fucks up. Yeah. But it's this wrestle into mold block. It's straight in. Power though, but just the, need a... this is this could be a bad scatter for C bros, couldn't it? The instant power. Yeah. Perfect scatter. Yeah, now it's just straight up better if he gets the ball rolling. Yeah. Um, I did Baron Bucky, but that was later, right? What I mean is when, when Minecraft came out, I didn't dare play it. <laughs> and I ended up playing it once I was streaming because I thought, well, now I can stream, right? But but before, like, I, I mean, streaming might have been a thing when I was younger, but I didn't really know about streaming or YouTube or anything. It didn't exist before I, when I was young, right? Streaming, uh, streaming probably didn't exist at all. 
and YouTube didn't exist at all. So like, <laughs> it was just like, I, I just didn't want to be a massive loser and play video games all day. <laughs> and even though I had done, right? I'd played, I'd played, I'd played Diablo 2 tons, I'd played Football Manager tons. And I just thought, oh my God. You oh, know, good my, old Football Manager. I love that, I love that. Give me the spreadsheet games. Civ, Civ 2, I loved Civ 2. And then, so I did play a lot of, like a lot of those kind of, video games to be fair maybe i am a gamer um and then yeah but that was the thing i thought oh my god if i if i play world of warcraft or minecraft my whole life will be gone i think you just cage here right just cage here like don't don't transfer and get past because he, he's already got two people behind you so just just cage up here i guess He does have the expensive rich hair in Niagara, doesn't he? But I mean, that was a crazy turn from Niagara. 7 2 plus with no rerolls, right? Because although lots of those were dodges with dodge, you don't have dodge on a blitz. So um, they were all just naked 2 plus oh, rolls. To yeah, it's seven. a naked. Yeah, yeah, without rolling a single one. Yeah, so that was quite, yeah. a, quite the blitz from Niagara, but then it hasn't really done him any favours. <laughs> because, yeah, he's just. No, so now he's, half his team is caught on, on the other side and needs to work back. Yeah. yeah. He was playing a bit of uh, safety there, moving back. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Ruby <probably> Burrito. <laughs> right, yeah, I know what you, I know what you mean. It's like, but there you go. Oh dear. Yes, he, Twin Haste is, is insane. I mean, it's still insane anyway, right? Even, like, it's still good. Twin Haste is still good, but it's, uh... It's not as good as, uh... As when it gave you a full round of attacks without on the mode, so... I will play it again at some point. I'll, uh, I could even stream, like, an honor, road mo an honor mode run. But I played through it, like, you know, off stream because it was quite intensive game anyway right like graphics and everything and also i just wanted to go really slow and take my time and and you know search every every nook and cranny and stuff and like so yeah, yeah. so i didn't i didn't stream bg3 but i did enjoy it um, so yeah I might, I might finish up act three and then and then stream like an honor road an honor mode run or like a multiplayer run or something but um yeah, I just I just played single player like really fucking slowly, <laughs> really incredibly slowly. I did hold scimitars. Yeah, I had loads of things to sell. <laughs> it was great. It was great. It was just like five idiots selling millions of scimitars. Steal things. You you can steal loads of things in BG three. That's the that's the best part. Stealing loads of stuff. Can he? Uh, my main character was Swords Bard. Yeah. Ooh, that's a, a useful pal. Very useful. If he breaks armor? Huge. Nope. Then it doesn't matter much. But there's, he needs. He needs. Both he needs both of them to work. Yeah, he, need, he needs something here, doesn't he? he? Needs this this dodger needs to just make a million. The problem dodges. is he needs something in both sides. Yeah, yeah, more this side, right? Just because of the speed of players, like the dark. Yeah, the dark elf can still get in scoring range that way if needed to, but he really needs somewhere over there. Yeah, but that's uh, with that follow up. Before the follow up, we could have leaped over that player. Yeah, and saved some movement. Yeah, I like that. The player then that yeah from that square had been yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that would really would have been yeah. Yeah, that was the play. <laughs> that was the play. Oh my god, he's gonna get shadow sh shadow no, shadowing fails, dice. Tag the ball. Problem is it's just a two plus off, isn't it? It's it's unlikely to do anything. 
to the Wrestle Witch completes, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, probably the Wrestle Witch, right? So you get absolute maximum. Yeah, I would do it. Ooh, is he going? Yeah. Is he going for the other side instead? Surely not. Oh, is he just tagging? I think just tag, right? Safe moves first, tag those guys. Yeah, that's no. But he's tagging the only dodge player. But, oh, <laughs> also the two other. But. <laughs> I liked. I liked that tagging the only player. That was. Uh, <laughs> no, surely he's uh, taking the wrestle with. Can the wrestle get? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it can hit once and then it would have to GFI on it. Yeah, but with two rerolls, you're fine with that. That's just what it is. Yeah. And gets the pow. And the AV. Is he casting as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, but armor break is fine, right? It's amazing, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> so now you don't have to. Now you can even use. kind of use that player as part of your screen? Yep, <laughs> yep. Oh dear. Yeah, you've got to, got to go full forward, haven't you? Three, six, seven. Yeah, you can go full forward here. This guy can come out at the end. Oh, this is uh, this is brutal. Is he going there? The problem is the w the witch might surf you, so I would, I would want to be three squares in and two. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, I will, I will There's so much in control. That's. Mm. So, Not so taking any chances. Yeah, he hasn't gone there, but the problem with this is it, he's going to have to GFI, isn't he? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he's going to have to GFI now, so I would have really wanted to yeah. have got him one forward and then, like. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, taking. Yeah. Yeah, and he's still got two players and got rerolls, so he can get Witchelf in front and the line who can fill up in the back as well. Yeah. One, two, four, three, five, six. Four. It's two plus, two plus. Yeah, there or there. But so yeah, it's. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, that's a blitz. It's a blitzer. blitzer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no so problems, that It's still a bit awkward with the witch elf. You need to get that one. Yeah, in that square. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So it also assists when it come if he comes in for the serve. Yeah. Is there any? That's no. That's nobody left. This though. No, no, that's it. He, he actually did safe moves first. Yeah, these two got in. Yeah. Maybe could have come around the other side, right? Not sure about. I don't know why they Yeah, finished. that seemed like a bit. It seemed a bit hasty. Mm. Yeah, at least we agree with that. Just to make. But it, it's. It's easy to make the first. So what is that? That's uh, four. Four plus. Four plus? For one dice, one dice serve? Yep. That's, yeah, he should. He should have made the go for it with that blitzer, really. With two rerolls, right? Yeah, yeah. To to stop four plus four plus for one die one die. Yes. I'm taking that all day long. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least trying. I would probably <laughs> fail it, but. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, he could at have just give had, me the shot. He could, he could have just had this guy here. And this yeah, guy that's. Here, right? uh, or he, or he could have had this guy where the witch elf is, and then the witch elf could have come there, and he could have been there, and that's like, it's okay. It's still the kind of same thing to hit him on one day, but at least you're not getting surfed. <laughs> I mean, uh, Cole plays Woody's and Ladder as well. Didn't he? I started. It's uh, it's it's all right now. I can. It's playable. Mm. Basically fun. It, uh, being season of the Necros Dark Elf is good fun. <laughs> That's how nice I am to people. <laughs> boom, boom, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. And and compared to, I still remember playing. Um, what was it called? The beta, where you freaking couldn't uh, do anything. Yeah, yeah, it, it is better than the beta. Yeah. It's it's definitely playable. Yeah. I wonder if he comes on. No, no. This is it's definitely just four four, isn't it? Is the way. One two three four five six seven. Oh, he's gone the wrong way, but he's rolled a five. <laughs> oh. I think that's wrong, right? I, I think it's wrong to do to go on the five. It's better to do the four four than the five. It has to be. Uh, oh no, he's got no rerolls. Yeah, maybe the five. Yeah, so they've. 
so the, maybe the five is better than the four four. Yeah. But will that take him go for it? I couldn't. I don't know. I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh God, he was here, wasn't he? One, two, mm. three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Yeah, I couldn't. He couldn't have done that. He could have gone straight in, straight line. That was a rust for the first hit. So it was rush, rush. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure the rust. I probably. I still think I probably better like the four plus four plus with dodge yeah. and not having to rush. But yeah, I think so too. But it's like it, he tried. Yeah. And zebras do have to roll at least a die. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. if you are probably just tag the the leader and blitz the leader and then block the line and then uh, use the same player. Hopefully to go down and give assist on the lineman and block there and just do that. Mm -hmm. Seems straightforward. Which is also what's happening. Ooh. That's fine. It's not great, but it's with two rerolls you take you take that. Yeah. Like even having to one dice Ooh. would have been fine, but you gotta block he's blocked with the block. He yeah. I wonder if he, he should still have got blocked. the two plus yeah, you could have blocked that way, and but that's risking the one in nine, yeah. I guess. But the push is good, isn't it? So it was, yeah. it was, it was, it was interesting. And then you can follow up. And then just dodge with dodge. And dodge with dodge. So take the. Bl I don't even mind taking the block because that's a two die. It's a two plus as well. Yeah, true. And you've got two reroll. Yeah. So I'll take the block. It's better. Yeah, it is. Even though it's a frenzy trap, <laughs> potentially. Yeah, but it's a one die frenzy yeah, the, trap. Yeah, the trap is the same as the dodge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, not really a trap. Not really. Just a calculated risk in this case. Yeah. Sea Bros emote game is on point. Yeah, honestly, Dimmy, it's been a massacre on emotes. Um, <laughs> it's been a massacre in the game as well, right? It's one one three removals. Um, yeah, Seabros has crushed him in all in all facets of Blood Bowl, but particularly the emote game. <laughs> it's been, uh, he's definitely winning that, <laughs> hands down. Yeah. Now this is really rough for Niagara, isn't it? Like, how on earth do you win this game? Like, even trying to, you know, stall out for the one-one draw is hard. But you've also got to somehow turn him over in that. I mean, at least at least it means you know what you've got to do, right? You've got to play like a bit of a nutter. You're going to have to try like five plus dodges in and stuff. And you're going to have to try. Like, you've still got the wrestler, so that's good, isn't it? You've still got the wrestle witch to try and pop things. Um, but yeah, it's going to be real tough now. And obviously, Zebra still has to score, so he can't just turtle. He's going to have to try and get it in, but he can be really, really safe, can't he? I still don't against elf against elf. I'm not crazy on turtling too much, just because if you have the critical one die, you one one or something, you'd rather wonder having time to get it back. Yeah. Instead of him instantly just scoring on you. Yeah. But like, do you know what I mean? Like, it, 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 uh, yeah. What, what he doesn't I mean need is, to force anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. He can, he can let a he can let a what is a, a guy ro roll all the dice and just push him away. Yeah. yeah. Um, already been players up. It's pretty shit. I will. Yeah. Oh wow! Niagara's just said in Seabro's chat his whole pitch has gone grey since turn three. So that that didn't help him. <laughs> no. Yeah, there have been like the replay bug, I guess. There's there's like there's one where like you know it, it, well not replay but like you know the re-roll that's what I meant you know like when you get like the re-roll it kind of turns everything grey doesn't it so I, I guess that was it something something when he re-rolled and here was I praising Blood Bowl Tree for being all right <laughs> 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 it 
It is better. It's a lot better than it used to be, but it used to be really, 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 really bad. <laughs> and, and let's be honest, I'm still struggling hitting the right buttons at the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's for, um, especially weekdays when I'm tired, when you're already tired. Yeah. That's the wheels and the option is still not fully logic. And I keep messing up in sidestep and dodge and sure hands and strip ball. <laughs> the icons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I'm playing fucking Elf and I still cannot figure it out. <laughs> I want my letters back. <laughs> yeah, it's it's rough, yeah. There's lots of there's lots of things. The best thing for me is the is the auto clicker, right? Like that I've got set up so I can I can yeah. press a button on my mouse and then that cl that left click seven times. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I can use that to stand my players up and stuff. Because I might need to do that because I hate the fucking standing up. Yeah, that that, that infuriated me. Like I was at my wits' end to just try to play. That anything. is that is truly painful. I, I will give you that. Yeah. Um, and the blue, the blue versus um, red is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. There was a game That's in. Just there was a game pure in genius. There was a game in Super League. They were both yellow and green, like default Wood Elves. It's like you could not tell anything if he didn't have the red and blue. So, yeah. yeah, that is great. Like like fumble in it, red and blue, brilliant. It's so simple, and I don't know why we didn't have that in Blood Bowl Two, though. Yeah, yeah. There was black and white, wasn't there? In uh, in Blood yeah, Bowl One, there was black and white, yeah. but red and blue is like way better. Yeah, that's fantastic. So too, good. Yeah. We're lucky, lucky. Oh, all pieces are green, so is the pitch. So, yeah, so we couldn't even tell who was who and stuff. Oh, man, that's brutal, isn't it? I probably, well, if it's me, I'll probably try to re disconnect and hope that will fix the issue. The problem is, nobody knows if he can do that because it's a friendly match. Oh, I've. At least I will still be so more. I will probably still have been so annoyed. I would take the loss if it's been that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's where he's at now, right? It's one one. He's lost three players. It probably is. It probably is a loss now, anyway, right? So I think. I try, think yeah. Why not try? Yeah, I would try now if I was him. Yeah, he says he's going to try and restart. It might just. It might just be a concede win for Seabros. Which, which I think is fair, right? Like, it's... I, I think... I think it, it was is fair It's probably if, a win, anyway. Yeah, like, I think it was fair if I was Niagara. Like, do you know what I mean? I'd think, oh, fair enough. Like, I've, I've lost this anyway, almost. Almost certain to lose this. Because a draw yeah, is also right. a loss. So even if, you, even if you get to... You know, even if you get to hold it to a draw. Okay, waiting for a point reconnection. So he can try and reconnect. Well, he could have done that, you know, six turns ago. Um, yeah. But, yeah, he just didn't know if he could or not. Yeah, Oh man, rough, 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 rough. <gasps> oh, it's coming! Oh. It's coming! Yep. Game pause for, and we back. Did it work? <laughs> that is the big question. Yeah. Um, what happened? What happened was, punter, uh, Niagara had one of the bugs where, when you use a reroll or something it ch it like it stays in like the reroll kind of grayed out screen and so he for the since turn three the pitch has been gray and all the players has been gray and he has really struggled with the, the ui and that so yep oh wow oh wow okay but anyway it's all worked out he didn't concede but he does have nine players versus seabros 11 and uh, see, it's one, still one. fucked. Yeah, he's still. <laughs> but now he can see how bad it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He comes back. He's like, "Holy shit! Those were those were my players that were cast. <laughs> oh no, I'm fucked." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not great, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not good at all. I'm screwed, and now I know exactly how much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, game. Yeah, yeah. This is this is rough, but the the good thing for Niagara is uh, he's in the Blood Bowl Tactics uh, three-way final that they're gonna have on like about the what? 
Yeah, it's a three-way final because they, they had about 50 people who wanted to enter their tournament. So they had three 16-man tournaments. And then the three winners of those are having a round robin to decide who wins okay, the, the spot. And Davo is one of those three, and obviously Davo's just qualified from this. So He's, um, Davo was having a good year, though. Mm, so now they've got He's... Niagara and uh, Na Nate He's... Sick or whatever. He's, uh, he's been uh, he's been racking up uh, the good results. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well done, him. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I? I was told I lost to him in Home Nations, um, which was quite hilarious. I um, I was going for the win and uh, managed to kill my my two war dancers in back to back turns and ones. I was there. Uh, that was quite something. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty brutal. <laughs> Another the first one was I know a 1D skull trying to uh, sack his ball carrier. Oh. <laughs> oh. The next was just the snake eyes to try to hit the ball carrier. Oh dear. Lovely. So I think he owes me one. <laughs> that's the gentleman he is. It's, Surely will they give it back at some point where I need it. <laughs> Cheeky GFR gets the pound. Wow, and a removal. Okay, well. If it wasn't over before, those two removals. Well, he's GFing again, you lunatic Zebras. <laughs> I don't think that was worth it. When you're on a roll, you're on a roll. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this is just mad. This seven this, Yeah. If if depending on how tired I am if I'm near and I I will uh, I'll consider the the concede button. <laughs> yeah. And just go to bed. <laughs> uh, a, I mean it's a it's a it's a five plus for a one D, right? You probably need to take it and hope mm -hmm. you get the ball and then it doesn't go down. Yeah. The problem is, yeah, that's I mean, no. yeah. Oh fuck's mm. sake, zebras! <laughs> and then one day, pound are here, and then oh, you can actually this knockdown means he can jump over, right? Yeah, but he's he's jumping from. Um, that you probably you're jumping from two tackle zones. You probably just want to dart into three then. I mean, except you couldn't, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, from here, like... Oh, from that angle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, if this guy 1D pals it, and then, like, picks it up and runs away, you could have then tried to jump over this body to, like, screen it as well. <laughs> I think that's what he should have done. Because, uh, like, it's okay, it's it's totally stupid, but, it, like, your other option is just wait to lose, isn't it? <laughs> Basically. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, really, well, that really was like a shot. Yeah, okay, not a good shot. But he tags these two, five pluses in, one dice powers the witch elf, picks it up, runs over here, and then the witch elf and the blitzer both jump over this guy in a five, and then screen it, <laughs> and then he can score and he's two one up, and then and then Seabros has have a problem. to win. Well, yeah, then Seabros has to win, so then Seabros has to score quick, and it's two two. And that uh, might, and yeah, that might and that might backfire. You, you never know. You're right. Yeah. Like it's. Again, I don't think you can play keep away being three players down. No. Five, uh, three players? Sorry. Four. Uh, <laughs> Four players. How many could actually have out? Six? Five? Five, yeah, yeah. He had 12 players. And so for only four players, players down. Yeah. Um, only. <laughs> only, like, he's uh, he got Zebras right where he wants it. <laughs> yeah. Falling into his track um, <laughs> of false security. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's true. Three, that is wait. true. That is true. To be fair, lots of times that's when you see people like make the sloppy mistakes, isn't it? When they're this far ahead, so you do have to, you know, keep your uh, keep your wits about you and not not make any silly errors yeah. here, zebras. And then you'll see zebras uh, do um, a double double skull in turn sixteen and uh, spill the ball. Like yeah. I called it first. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not zebra. I've done that. D double skull and then 
Seabros uh, went all the way to the other end and scored. Oh dear. <laughs> It happens, I mean, it? it happens. Yeah, yeah. Like if you don't try, yeah, you keep trying and hope something fails. Yep. And there was a weak link here. He didn't. He didn't have this blitzer uh, one to the left, so he could move somebody through here. It doesn't know the job. It still does, like, they still can do something, right? Like, if this was seven dwarves, you'd say he can't do anything. But with seven elves, he can do something. I mean, yeah, it's obviously super low chances, but something could happen still. He's still in it, so... Yeah, stalling like this, you know, maybe he'll get a better shot, and, like, maybe... Maybe he shouldn't have gone for that five plus in. But, um... Yeah, I don't think that would have been a bad choice, because it might be end up being only six pluses from now on. Yeah. Yeah, full full H cage. It's time to drive the Vinga bus. <laughs> Bring out the big boss now. <laughs> like it's almost he's almost so many players he can almost if you get a bit more forward he can do the the full uh, eight man cage around the ball. <laughs> yeah. Have a, it's nothing better than stalling the last turn with a full cage where you cannot get through, even yes. on sixes. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's the best feeling. It's actually even better if you're winning and doing it in your own end zone turn 16. <laughs> That's even better than doing it in the op opponents. Yeah. I like. I remember one game where you, like you were playing against vampires and just had like a full wall. <laughs> it was just like there was. It was funny. It was like I don't know how many players it was. Like what's that? Six, seven, seven players. And it was just like a full wall here <laughs> and the player here. And I was like, oh yeah, that's a that's a pretty good way to stop the uh, to stop the gaze doing anything. <laughs> you can gaze me all night long, but there's still no gap to go through. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? Yeah, just the just one extra man in front of the cage is just so hard now to run all the way around to get a five plus in. Yeah, that's... But Seabro still does need to score, so there's a chance... But, you know, he, he has to roll some dice or he gets a bit disconnected at some point. There's yeah. That's, that is. But. Yeah, my instinct is <laughs> it's over and, and that 5 plus was good. But, you, know, you just yeah, need I to think, if you can run to the bookie, I'll uh, move my money on Zebros. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. he's trying, but it's just... Yeah. Yeah, it's so uh, hard, isn't it? The only actually th saying is... If anything, Zebros has that ball on a completely wrong witch elf. Yes, yeah. That is um, a thing I probably would like to try to do something about. Yeah. Because if he falls blocking with her at some point. Yeah. Yeah, that really is completely the wrong player. Yep. Both. <laughs> yeah. I, that is probably Naga's no, best, best hope is it's on the freaking wrestle piece. <laughs> Just eat it. Eat it. That's the worst with playing low reroll elves like this. It's all the freaking ones you just need to eat. Yeah. Ah, uh, so depressing. <laughs> More six rerolls, Lan. That's the future. <laughs> yeah, it's harder. That's what the that's what the new kid that's what the kids want. <laughs>
all the cool kids in the book. <laughs> This is tough, isn't it? Yeah, it's... It's a bit of play and hope, though. Just pray. Okay, so he looks like he is coming for all the dodges around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Okay, then do it in that way. Double GFI. Anyway, fails the 5 plus in. But at least he had the 5 plus in. He did, he did. And that 1D, you know, he could have powered it out and it could have been better than the first turns when he had the chance. So, you know, maybe, maybe he was right to not go for it earlier. Who knows. But now this is a gaping hole up here, isn't it? This is now the turn that Seabros has been waiting for, really, right? Like the free advance. Absolutely zero risks required. Take a massive formation down the field. Yeah, and, with, and the thing is, with being this many players up, that there's no really good risk of of, of like being like squeezed too much. Yeah. Um, I'm <laughs> again. Couldn't you make this box so wide that you could, pro could probably have done the handoff safely? Yeah. Yeah. I just wonder, like again, it's oh fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess you don't need to make it safe if you just kill everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> I'm stunned. <laughs> what a ridiculous game. Oh dear. It is a bit silly. <laughs> I don't think anyone would disagree in that. Yeah. Do you know what? This is funny that um, that this uh, before this tournament, I said that the two best players in it were Andy and Seabros, not counting myself, because, <laughs> you know, because I've already qualified, and I thought Tree was, you know, slightly below those two, and, and what's happened is, Deerfall's won it, Seabros is third, Tree's fourth, and I was second, so I was actually completely nailed it. Absolute perfect prediction. Well done, Jimothy. Mm. What can I say? Oh. This, yeah, this is definitely a dicing, I mean... I yeah, wasn't, that's that. I thought the first half. I thought Niaga did some things that you know I didn't really agree with, and uh, you know maybe he could have you know maybe he could have done some things differently and better. But at the end of the day, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> and yeah, and he, he had the but then he had the he had the problems, didn't he? he had the uh, he had the the grey screen problem thing of the the bugs so, or. That maybe explains some of the things that he did. You know, and plus people do have different ideas anyway, don't they? But yeah. Like that that early score, yeah, like we we both thought go to the middle, didn't we? So But he, even if he had done all that, like the amount of Kaz he's taken is insane, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's don't think that's any I don't think uh Seabro's gonna disagree. Yeah, yeah. Like playing elves is relatively all right playing elves when you're killing the other team is pretty easy yes yeah. yeah yeah that's the thing like all, all the other teams like you know orcs and stuff them they're designed that you uh that you actually <laughs> beat the other team although they aren't there but when it's the when it's the elves that are beating up the other team it's ludicrous and this didn't work but again there's no reason to <sighs> Yeah, 
position. Uh, I guess he needs to do that. He cannot really. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Come on, kill the witch elf. <laughs> I guess it was wrestle on wrestle, so having an on wrestle was less bad. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Um, but yeah. Um, come on. You surely just stab first. Eh? Oh, it's yeah. not his turn yet. Yeah, you gotta stab. And you need to do a go for it because standing there is not making you freaking any difference. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stab the witch and then you can still surf the uh, lineman, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. At least force something. Yeah. Well, standing looking at the team is not gonna make any difference. <laughs> I would definitely stab. The reason being that, like, yeah, it's okay, there's loads of things you can do here, right? Like with blockless blocks, th even three dice blocks to get surfs and stuff. But stab is a free action. Yeah, stab cannot fail, and you want you do, you know even if you make this like a three D block with block, it could fail. Whereas if you and, just do the stab, there we and go. And let's be honest, in this game, the likelihood of it breaking armor is pretty high. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just get the ball here, right? Get the ball here in a Yeah, back in, into the middle, and now the again, now the wrestle is out of the game. Yep. Make sure to make it. Come on, bring in. So you can make a. You can put a. You can both. A, you can do the Vinka bus with a driver and everything, so it's uphill, no matter what. Yep. So now we just need the driver of the winger bus. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's got, it's good. He, yeah. We yeah. need. I will fill that square personally. Yeah, I would. I would have filled that and then bl dodge blitzed with the uh, with the witch right. Then you get to surf this guy potentially. Um, yeah. So yeah, I would have just put him in there and then dodge. Yeah. Blitzed. Oh, come on! You need a driver. <laughs> the bus needs his driver. <laughs> Don't let him get the one die on a rest of the player. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh you just break it. God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, this is this is just stupid, let's be honest. <laughs> That's why it's good we normally we don't play for money in this game, because that like you've gone to the final and then this happens, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Thank you, novel. Yeah. You dickhead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's funny, isn't it? Like, but that's the thing, right? The funny thing is, even after this insane second half, um, if Niagara had gone to the middle instead of scoring early, maybe ends the half one nil up. And and, yep. and if Seabros is one nil down, then he's got to make a more concerted effort to get forward in the second half. He couldn't have played this safe. And you know, it, there might have been a decent shot to get the ball off, even with few players and stuff. Like things might have got a bit, you know. Seabros would have had to have scored and turn him over and scored again. So like, it would have made a big difference to to the game uh, had he had he you know had the the gameplay decisions he'd made. He could have made the he could have made meaningful decisions despite this happening, which is, seems crazy because obviously this is ludicrous. Yeah, yeah. We can go back to that turn, but I have no clue why we didn't. Again, go back it towards the middle. Yeah. Instead of trying to force it down the side, and I do like a good sideline cage as much as the next one. <laughs> yeah. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, run bad. Flicky walking. <laughs> I love the flicky walking. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, thank you very much, Runbad. Welcome, Runbad viewers, to uh, the NAF qualifier, which is... Ooh, I'm surprised. I would have gone the other way, even though it's a bit further, just to be aware. I guess you don't have to be away from the wrestler, because you've, you've, you've still got the ball in the wrestler yourself. Um, it's the NAF World Cup qualifier, which, you know, is about to be won by Seabros, almost certainly. Um, it, because, especially now for Niagara, even if he stops Seabros... He's um it's not doing him any good anyway. He's got actually what 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 Niagara has to do is double GFI with his witch also as a scoring threat because <laughs> because a one one draw does him no favours. <laughs> and we've also we've got the, the ultimate cage here. Yeah. 
ultimate cage. Um, so yeah, it is officially, well, it's not completely over, right? You could base the ball, but even if he bases the ball, um, he's... Yeah, yeah. But he can kind of, he got enough space, space so he can do a screen outside the screen, almost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more play I did, but brilliant. But it's still it's a it's a it's a beautiful cage. Yeah. Um. I pro. You could have actually kind of if the lineman had been on top of the witch elf, it made it even more awkward to hit anywhere. Yeah. But yeah, it's a it's beautiful. No uh, no funny business here. Yeah. So you have to just you have to blitz the witch elf, right? And so that you have to make him roll the dice on the last turn, and then you have to dodge and double GFI yeah. here, so you have a scrolling threat. I think this is a GG. It is. That lady is starting to sing yeah. very loud in the back corner <laughs> of the room somewhere. <laughs> it's 100% GG. But <laughs> it's not actually 100%. It's only 99.99999. Because <laughs> it's also with that few players, it's hard to see it not. Uh, both a stab and then probably a tree dies on to move the player away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could he have surfed? No. Roll six in this turn. There's, there's no space to be had. No. You can do exactly this. The, but this doesn't do anything, right? Because a, a draw is no good for Niagara. So drawing one one is no better. And now he's him. The, he, he even just pushed him to the sideline. Yeah. He didn't even tag. Yeah. So now, and now he just used Abu to fill the squares. So now he needs to jump over. Yeah, he can jump. Yeah. Yeah. And a one. Oh, and a five. Woo! Shadowing <laughs> into the square where it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. But the, prob the problem is now he's, it's a wrestle with standing. Yeah. I mean, the problem is that he's done it with a witch elf, right? Like, he, he, this witch elf had to run down the field. This witch elf had to double GFI. And he had to do that play with, like, a, a dodgeless. Yeah. Thing because him drawing 1 1, he's still out. <laughs> All he's doing is dragging Seabros down with him if it, if it works. <laughs> yeah, so the fact that I guess if he blitzes the Witzel thing and can double both down, then it's getting slightly awkward. He can blitz from up here, can't he? Yeah, but if it's double both down, you get wrestled down. Yeah. I'm not saying it's really stopping anything I'm just <laughs> saying then you need to deal with that lineman no the, the witch has got the ball yeah but if oh, it's two dive blind me <laughs> there's no more assists yeah, yeah that didn't help much no. you needed to get more players in I guess yeah yeah you had to just roll a million sixes you just had to roll yeah, you needed to force sixes. it into being a two dive somewhere yeah and it's hard with the witch help yeah yeah it's, um, Oh, you could have given us a little dance with all the killing. Yeah, it's it's amazing that these people don't do enough BM. Like after he's done all of the BM of, of the emotes, you would have thought he'd have done a little, uh, a little. A toddy dance. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you never know. You might get banned on certain streams if you do a bit of uh, running into too many runs into the end zone. <laughs> yeah. I'm not forgetting that. <laughs> Toxic TD dancers for who would have thought? Who would have thought that was a thing that I people would complain It was not even about. the dancing. It was just me keep scoring on my wall dancer because I tried to double skill it. Uh. <laughs> my rookie wall dancer, I tried to get two skills on in one game. Right. He did not enjoy that. Uh. <laughs> Man, I remember there was a game on Fumble. It was uh, it was the first game of you know the team that had. Player Pigstar sixty nine and hot stuff, and the yeah. player was Vindaloo. And their first oh, game, <laughs> the first game Piggy. was against like ogres, right? There. <laughs> and like one dancer got like twenty SPP, and the other one got like <laughs> eighteen or something. It was insane. <laughs> and that was that was like the best war dancer ever. One, it was like it was strength five, edge five, and, stuff, <laughs> and it, was, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. So, he didn't get a timeout. 
No. And again, the draw would have done diagonal, but anyway, it would have just it would have just. No, but a bit of spiteful to drag the zebras with him, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would have it would have only been spite. All right, so there you go. That was a two-one win for zebras. So um, I can put on the table. I mean, this is the wrong table, right? Because it's it's got to be manually updated. But um, I can put on the table for you here. So there you go. That win. Put Seabros on 14 points and puts him into third place, which gets him the qualification spot because I don't count. So there you go. And Andy doesn't count. Yeah, and yeah, Andy's already Andy's got the one spot. And, Why are uh, you two playing in this tournament, you dickheads, taking up spots from other people? No, no, no. And, no, Andy, Andy got his spot from this one. Ah, uh, and, and oh, from this one. Yeah, oh, yeah. there's two spots yeah, from this two one. Spots, yeah, two spots. Yeah, 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 two spots. So and, who's, Andy who's won the latter spots? Um. It's a good question. I think Andre got one and Diomed got one. Uh. Yeah, that's what I think. But then because Diomed got, but then the, because, but then Andre, so actually what happened was, Andre then got into the top four as well, which meant that his slot went down to Benbo Baggins, I think. And because, that? and because Diomed got into the top four, his ladder spot went down to Patrick Balcony. Um, monitor so I that, that's what I believe has happened with those but again we, we just don't know because there's no public because record nobody of knows qualifiers. because there's no record of it yeah what a shit show yeah. um <laughs> yeah but it was it was uh, it was certainly a great game for uh, for sea bros uh, obviously massive brutally brutally one-sided dice in terms of removals but um, yeah, you know, like maybe, maybe you know, uh, Niagara could have done it, could have gone back to the centre that turn, mm -hmm. and and who knows, might have been different. But um, yeah, GG, congrats, C Bros, and congrats, Andy, for the other spot, and thank you very much, Cole. It was great having you in the booth. Absolutely glorious. No worries. <laughs> Good fun as always. Fantastic, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.